In this video, we will talk about graphs and HFSS. What are trace characteristics and how we can export them? Just right click on graph. Here you can see, see that in category, there are many categories, you can see them one by one. This is math category, in different functions are available for math, pulse width, overshoot, DC error, period, radiation. We will now look at, we will see one by one how we can use them in our graph and first of all math in math there is a list of categories how we can find maxima, minima, peak to peak, RMS, root mean square values, average of any mark, number of mark values, integer we can sum a number of values, we can take a means of marked values, you can find variance and lot of another other function you can you can see there are lot of other functions we can use them without without doing any mathematical calculation but directly we can find them. First of all maximum I'm going to click on add here here you can see that Here you can see that this shows the maxima, first maxima of this graph. Now I am going to, to do again a, the same maxima it, it is going to show because there is a, only one maxima in any graph. Now I am looking at for mean, minima. This is the minima, the value of minima you can see here. Similarly, what is peak to peak? Peak to peak value. What is the peak to peak value? Maximum peak. This is 38.39. You can see here the sum of all these given values. Here you can see that now I am going to clear all these now I am going to mark some of value and well I, I will find function of some of them in air traces now I am going to to average or some of these two then it will give us some of these two values that I have selected. Similarly, you can find other like variance and many other properties by just clicking. Here you can see that now I am going to change the category from math to pulse width. Pulse width you can see here a lot of different functions are available for pulse width. You can see here pulse minima, pulse maxima, pulse minima time, pulse maxima time and lots of other other you can see them now you can also we have also noted this pulse width 
pulse minimum and showing it the purpose of what it will do. The return the pulse minimum from the front and tell estimate of the selected quantity. I have selected two of them. Their front and tell me estimates it will show. I am going to to add this. Here you can see that pulse minimize this. Now other functions. Similarly, I am going to change the category from pulse wave to overshoot, error, period, radiation, like period for this purpose, maximum. This is the period of pulse maximum. Similarly, you can change a from functions and you can you can see here the purpose to calculate the peak overshoot given in threshold value and the number of immediately space point over entire time range by clicking on category and selecting function you can read the purpose of that function and similarly you can try it by own self and this way you have to do a lot of, of calculation directly without doing any mathematics. Just click on done. Now look at you can change you can You can do changes in this. You can select from full to specified value. You can change, you know, you can put some description. You can set the range for maxima of this. Here you can see that you can do that to specify it from 0 to 8 gigahertz. This is, this become the range to find the maximum. Start range 0, 0 to Add. But here I am going to change the frequency from A to 4, 4 gigahertz. Unit is also already in gigahertz. Now this function will find the maxima from the frequency from 0 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz. Now click on add. This, this is the maxima. Because the maxima lies, the actual maxima also, also lies in this range. Now I am going to change the range from 4 to 8. You will note that the maxima will become change. This is another maxima that lies on in the range 4 gigahertz. We are gigahertz in between this. This is our second maximum. Similarly, you can change other function. You can find minimum from 4 to 8. I am going to change its range from 0 to From 0 to 2. It will give us this. This is a minimum. And that is lies on this range. In this range, minima just comes out. This is the minimum that lies on this range. Click on done. You can save it, you can export it for any use. You similarly you can export the add marker 
I have made in the tutorial how you can export them and how you can import the values or tables in a graph. You can see my you can search my their tutorial in tutorial series. Thank you.